Hi guys. Welcome back to my Psych Engine tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to teach you on how to make your own custom character sprite sheet, XML file and your own custom character icon, without using a single money in your wallet. I'm going to teach you how to add your own custom character in the next video. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. So first, you have to install Critter and open it. Link in the description. After that, create a new file and set it to 800 by 800. After that, press create. And then you will be taken to the drawing interface. Before you draw or anything, go to layers and turn off background layer. This will make it, so the background is transparent. And then you can draw. But I will just use my Minecraft character images with idle, left, right and up animation. I'm not going to teach the basics of Critter. You can go to any video and learn. I have my first idle animation sprite here. You don't have to draw multiple of your sprite sheet animation in one image. You just have to draw every animation sprite in one image. For example, this is my first idle animation sprite. Then this is my second idle animation sprite. Then this is my third idle animation sprite. My character just kept getting shorter. This is how many every animation sprite you need to have. If you still don't understand what am I talking about, you can watch this video. Link in the description. When you have done making your first sprite animation, press file then press save as. Save it to anywhere you like. Set your image to PNG. I recommend you to save the file name as your animation and sprite digit. For example, I will save it as CG idle 1. The same thing goes to every animations. After you saved all of your animations frame, open the Spritter sheet and XML file generator app. I will give you the link on how to download this in the description. After you open it, you should see this thing. Before we add a frame images, we have to name our character. After that, click on add frame images and select all of your idle animations frame. Then, click on add frame images again, and select all of your down animations frames. And same thing goes to every animations frames.
After you have added all of your Rydal, down, left, right and up animations frames, click on all your Rydal animation frames. Then press set animation and name it to anything. Then click on all of your down animations and click on set animation again, then name it to anything. The same thing also goes to every animation's frames. When you have done naming all of your animations, click on generate XML and save it to your psych engine folder. And then choose example mods folder, then choose images folder. And then choose character folder and save it there. Now go to your psych engine folder and go to the folder where we have saved it. Now you have your own custom spritter sheet and custom XML file. Now we are going to make our own custom character icons. Create a new file and set it to 350 by 500. And then, press create. Don't forget to remove the background layer. Keep in mind that the left side of your custom icon image is a normal icon and the right side of your custom icon image is a losing icon. Now you can start making your custom icon. I'm going to use my Minecraft head images. After you made your custom icon, press file and press save as, and go to your psych engine folder. Then choose example mods folder, then choose images folder, and choose icons folder, and save it there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.